Alright, what's up guys? This is Dark M, and uh, this is uh, the next part of my uh, Hex 2011 MVC3 Reflections. And I have made it all the way to Losers Finals against Andrew. And uh, I've actually played with Andrew quite a lot, both before and during the, the tournament, so... I kind of had a feel for his playstyle, but at the same time, it's Marvel, anything can happen. They'll start off alright, get Wesker in the corner, but uh, still can't convert on my relaunches. And uh, I know that this combo actually doesn't do too much damage, just because of the way that uh, the grapple and super scroll scale the combos. So I wasn't too worried about that. Right now I'm just trying to fish for a uh, air, safe air grab or safe slide. Okay, see, I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't on purpose, uh, but the jab really threw me off and I popped out. Okay, that X-Factor was more just to keep momentum on my side. I didn't want him to... I didn't want his Wesker to get away since it was so close to death. Uh, Andrew's Super Scroll is probably the character that I was the most afraid of just because he plays the most uh, reckless with him. Like, as you saw there, he just kind of does a lot of uh, meteor smashes and whatnot. And uh, this was actually a really nice uh, executed X-Factor combo by Andrew. I, I was impressed with that. Okay, now right here, I thought I was dead because there was more than enough time for him to DHC with the X-Factor still active. But he told me after the match that he actually messed up the input. And uh, so now here I am with no X-Factor and no life trying to do something and then when I dropped that combo I had pretty much just given up I was like uh, I, I don't have what it takes <laughs> and so yeah he just gets a random cross up I wasn't too happy with the way that match went my she hulk got like no mileage so I knew that if I was gonna have a chance I would have had I had to uh, get more damage in with she hulk and not just die right away okay so that was uh, pretty smart on my part. I, I, I delayed the air throw so that I would make sure I get it. And uh, that's a pretty standard She-Hulk reset. You can even hear that he tried to super out, but of course it's not going to work. Uh, I tried to go for a mid-screen relaunch with Tasky's help, but uh, I didn't dash forward. And right here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait for it to, to end, punish it safely. And uh, I believe I'm going to go for a reset right here. I do it a little too early, but thankfully, uh, Andrew kind of panicked and uh, he just kind of reset himself. Okay, so I went for a cross under trick. Andrew playing pretty fast, and I think it's really hurting him because he's it's allowing me to fall out of a lot of combos. With a lot of combos, if you super jump and press buttons too fast, uh, the combos don't work out correctly. Okay, so I DHC out just to let She-Hulk recover. She, she has about a half-life if I let it all heal. And I'm just being patient. That was a nice conversion by Andrew. But, uh, see, I, I don't agree with this D8, with this uh, Team Super. Wasn't worth the two meters, barely did any damage. Didn't really get any pressure after either. I X-Factored there just because I saw an opportunity to maybe happy birthday him, but uh, didn't work out the way I thought it was gonna. And then right here, I was just like, oh, damn. I just realized that I just kind of wasted my X-Factor. Wesker just kind of zoned me out for free. And in my haste, I get killed for it. This is a pretty crucial point in the match, in my opinion, because I'm down a game, and losers' finals are only two out of three. So right now, whoever gets the next hit is pretty much going to have all the momentum. And thankfully, uh, I was paying attention, and I was able to hit confirm off the Spencer assist. Okay, so and right here, uh, it's a little standard cross under trick with uh, the grapple, and I'm just trying to rush him down. Okay, you see how he kind of just walked backwards right there. That means that he was totally not expecting that cross up, still holding the the other direction, and that is what we call Pringles. And uh, simple DHC just to get the win. Even if I had screwed it up, probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. But always best to end strong. And Andrew was thinking about changing up his order right there. But sticks with the same team. 
And uh, thankfully, I do have, again, uh, character experience against all of these characters. Wesker, of course. Uh, Epic Fail plays for Scroll, And, of course, I play Spencer. So there wasn't a whole lot of tricks that he could pull out that I wouldn't, wouldn't have seen before. And uh, he, Andrew just calling out his assists whenever he feels like it because She-Hulk's not the best character at blowing up uh, assist calls like that, especially when they're full screen. Uh, that super was actually a read. I, I, I had a feeling he would jump right there just based on how he was playing. Unfortunately, uh, I, missed the, I missed the punish after the super, but got a reset anyway. And after all, you know, it's never a drop combo. It's a reset, always. Okay, so I was actually pretty happy with how this combo ended up. I kind of just flubbed it and still made it happen. I didn't mean to drop it, let him drop out after that, but, you know, it all worked out. I figured he wasn't going to X-Factor either because he was so low on life anyway. So basically at this point, he only has one option left with it, which is a uh, level 3 Spencer. So I'm just trying to play as safe as possible. But unfortunately, I didn't let him fall after the super, so the, it whiffed and then dead She-Hulk. Okay, so my game plan here was again to just give no respect. He's an X-Factor, he's going to push buttons. Thankfully, he does the combo wrong and I fall out. And then I was like, screw it, I'm going to go for it. Overhead. Thankfully, it hits. Doesn't really combo, but all's well that ends well, I guess. And I get a run back in Grand Finals with uh, Pure Elite.